Guys, welcome, and we're going to be looking at the 2008 French comedy, Welcome to the Sticks, also known as Beyond Venue, Chez La Chattise. And this is directed by Danny Boone, who also stars in it, along with Kat Morad, Zoe Felix, and Anne Riven. And the best way to describe Welcome to the Sticks is as a comedy mixed with a romantic element. It's a film poking fun at French ideologies, and in particular, the northern region of France. It pits the north of France against the south of France by claiming that, you know, the north is miserable and bleak, and the south is being beautiful and serene. When in an actual fact, if you've been to those places, they're both beautiful, but that's the butt of the joke, and it does deliver. And it's written and directed by the always entertaining Danny Boone, who I first came across in the film The Valet, directed by Francis Weber. And you know, he must have the Midas touch, because this film is the highest grossing film in French history, with The Untouchables coming in a close second. And it's a film that gets better with every viewing. So without further ado, let's check it out. Welcome to the Sticks begins by introducing us to Postal Service Manager Philippe played by Kat Murat, who works in the south of France. Tired of working in the same dead-end district in the south, Philippe applies for a postal service position further south, down by the French Riviera, to please his wife and son. Knowing his chances of landing the job will be further increased by claiming he's handicapped, he does so and falsifies his application. However, this choice backfires in the most glorious of fashion when he interviews for the position. Vous savez, j'ai souvent affaire à de fausses déclarations pour obtenir des postes convoités, comme sur la Côte d'Azur. Oh non C'est monnaie courante. Oh, quelle honte Oh, je ne vous fais pas dire, Monsieur Abrams. Vous vous plairez beaucoup, à scénarie sur mer. Merci. Bien, je ne vais pas vous déranger plus longtemps. Mais vous ne me dérangez pas. Au revoir, Monsieur Lubic. Quelle honte Caught red-handed, the postal service do the next worst thing, the firing Philippe. They transfer him to a postal office in the north of France to a little town called Berg. A man of the south, Philippe has heard and read many worrisome things of the north and fears for his life. Making matters worse, Philippe visits his wife's uncle, played by French veteran Michael Galabru, who gives him a very funny and daunting outlook on what the north entails. En été, ça va, parce que tu as 0, 0, 1. Mais l'hiver, ça descend, ça descend, ça descend. Moins 10, moins 20, moins 20, moins 30. Tu dis, je reste couché, il te fout du moins 40, tu vois Moins 40 Chez le Nord. Philippe's uncle-in-law also warns him of the people up north and their backwards ways, particularly the odd dialect they speak called Chutami. Disenheartened, Philippe is left to brave the northern front by himself, as his wife and son stay behind, in safety. Upon arriving in Berg, Philippe encounters Antoine, played by Danny Boone, who is a postman at the postal service Philippe has been stationed to as the new manager. This also marks the first time Philippe is introduced to the dialect of Chutemi, and it is as backwards as they come. Huh? You're mal when you parlez là, non? Oh, votre mâchoire, ça va là? Non, 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 j'ai mal à la tue, c'est tout, je suis tombé sur la tue, quoi. Le tue, ah, c'est pas terrible quand vous parlez. Vous, vous voulez pas qu'on aille montrer votre mâchoire à un médecin Non, je crois, j'ai rien à juice. Ah, je vous assure, vous vous exprimez d'une façon très, très particulière. Hein. Parce que je parle stimi, c'est ça Pardon bah, Je parle stimi, quoi. Oh putain, c'est ça le fameux chutimi. Within time, Philippe slowly begins to adjust to the northern people in their ways, and discovers that the north, in fact, isn't as bad as it's made out to be and that the prejudices surrounding it are simply prejudices, and Philippe soon falls in love with the place. However, proving this to his wife Julie, played by Zoe Felix, about the charming aspects of the North, isn't as easy as it seems. Mais d'abord, il fait pas si froid que ça, et en plus, ils sont euh, très, euh, comment dire, accueillants. Oh, arrête, Philippe, arrête, s'il te plaît. Mais arrête quoi Ah mais ne recommence pas, arrête de mentir. Fais pas le fort juste pour m'épargner. Dis-moi la vérité. Tu peux me le dire que tu souffres, Philippe. Je suis ta femme, tu sais, je peux tout entendre. Mais c'est la vérité. Philippe C'est vrai, c'est l'horreur. J'en bave. C'est horrible. Mais tu vois comme je te connais. Ouais. And as the movie progresses, Philippe's lies about the North to keep his wife happy places him in a precarious situation. J'ai été idiote, j'étais trop faible. Je demande pardon. Mais, mais c'est quoi ça 
Mes valises Je pars avec toi. Euh, et, et, et Raphaël Mes parents le récupèrent ce soir. Et dès qu'on lui trouve une école dans le Nord, on le fait venir. Mais ton, ton, ton magasin, le, le travail, enfin... J'ai pris un congé sans sol. Je viendrai avec toi dans le Nord. Non, non, je dis non What a wonderful film. This is so much fun. Cat Murad and Danny Boone are fantastic. I mean, Cat Murad, some of his earlier scenes, particularly where he gets caught for forging his application, that's pure comedy gold. It leaves you on the floor laughing. And, you know, even though it's like a, a vehicle for Danny Boone, he gives Cat Murad some of the funniest scenes. And, yeah, Danny Boone, he just shines whenever he's on the screen. And, you know, it's no surprise that his character actually has the biggest character arc revolving around his love interest played by Anne Mariven, but you just can't help but get invested in his character and love every moment of it. And another element is that because I can't understand French, so I'm reading the subtitles, is that the subtitle people have uh, managed to make the language of Shutami as illegible to read at the bottom of the screen as it is for the characters in the movie to understand. And that adds a lot of fun to this movie because you'll be reading the subtitles at the bottom and be getting as lost as the character on the screen when they're trying to decipher what someone is saying. And that's a lot of fun. I really appreciated that aspect of the movie as well. So guys, if you can't tell, this is definitely a must watch from me. I mean, Welcome to Sticks is a movie with a lot of heart, a lot of humor, and it leaves you with a feel good vibe at the end. So it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And um, I mean, if you stuck with my channel for a while, you might realize that I review this as my first ever review. And I just wasn't happy with that review. And that's why I've done this re-up here and sort of fixed that up, made it a bit more schnazzy. And uh, just because, you know, I love this film so much and I wanted to do it justice. So I hope you appreciated this. And guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. I'm Patty McManus and, you know, press that subscribe button below to support me.